you guys welcome back to the daily tea channel today i'm back in my uniform and um for those who doesn't know me i am sergeant sanchez and i am in the u.s army so by the title of this video you already know what's popping this video is for my subscriber that's our nart or try to reclass or i don't know try to join the army whatever so the last time i post a video about a 92 yankee life and i had a lot of conversation under there and um because of that i decided to make this video for you guys so hopefully you guys like it and if since you are here um just go ahead and like subscribe and click the notification bell and of course please come back and see me okay um on today's video i will be talking about the pros and cons of being a 92 Yankee. If you don't know what a 92 Yankee is, it's a unit to plot. See, that's what I be talking about. It's unit supply specialist. So basically, it's supplying the unit level. So company, um, battalion. I don't know, but it's unit supply. Anyways, we're not the 92 alphas. That's the warehouse. I just want to make sure you guys got that part. Okay. Stop moving. Mind my business. Stop moving. Mind your business. I hear your laptop. Mind your business. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, don't mind my hair. Um, I'm going through some ugly phase right now. Okay, so I want to start first with the pros. Because for me, this is for me. For me, I don't have that many cons when it comes to 92 Yankee. So because I knew I didn't have that many cons, I asked some of my soldiers what are their cons. Because... I like being a Yankee, okay? So, uh, I'm going to start with the pros. First, one good thing about being a Yankee is the direct connection with the commander. If you don't know what that means, let me tell you something. You can literally walk in that commander office and just, you know, be like, hey, sir, or hey, ma'am. You know, just have that conversation. And a lot of people do not, are not, well, actually, a lot of people are not allowed to do that because, you know, there's chain of command. You got to go to X, Y, and Z before you get up there. But with Yankees, we're literally, they're, they are our boss. So we're listening to what they want. We are here to make sure their property is, you know, secure or whatever the case may be. So because of that, they have to have that conversation with us. So, you know, some people get to the comfort level of texting their commander and stuff like that. But it really, it depends on the person. So, you know, you get to call them whenever or walk in their office whenever, so, so on and so forth. So, sometimes you can use that to your advantage. If you need your leave form approved faster, if you need to get something done, you need to go to school or whatever the case may be, you could start that conversation with them and then they could help you out. Um, for those who doesn't know, the commander is like the highest ranking officer on your company level. So, for me, I'm in a big company right now. So for me, I am in a big company right now, so I have a major as my um, commander. In my last company, I had a captain. So it's usually a captain, a major, is never like a lieutenant or whatever. So it's usually the highest ranking officer in your company, okay? Um, next, that's a pro for me because I hate being outside, especially if you're in Texas. Office. We work in an office. We work behind a computer 24-7. So... No matter where we at, we always have a computer. We always have a little office space to work at because that's what we do. Like, we're behind the computer, sending emails, doing all this stuff, property book, blah, blah, blah. So, we always in the office. I like that because I like my AC and I like my heat, you know? If it's cold outside, I need the heat. If it's hot outside, I need the AC. So, you know, I know some NYS, you stay outside 24 Yo, Oh, they outside no matter what. Rain, cold snow they outside but for us yankees we are 90 percent we're inside if we're outside it's literally for like inventory which i'll talk based on um pmcs which is regular army stuff you're not outside so i like that my next um pro is i had a list sorry my next pro is people are nice to you because they want supplies so people will kiss your butt 
and people will fake smile in front of your face just so they could get what they want because they know you kind of like the plug so you could you know order stuff give them the good stuff you know in our unit we're not allowed to order gerber but let's say for instance by accident or we order it or whatever the case may be we find orders um gerbers in our supply room we're gonna give it to the people we like we're not gonna give it to people who rude you know stuff like that so because of that people are usually you know your booty <laughs> they're usually nice to you because they want you to be able to have that you know hey i got some this you want it i got this you want it i got that you want it you know um the other stuff is we have the other pro is we have access to the goodies so a little story when i was going to blc everyone was going crazy because they didn't have compasses they didn't have compasses so they had to go buy compasses but me because i was supply and i was connected with other supply i was able to like hey y'all got compass in your supply room and then one of them was like yeah do you want some and she ended up giving me like four so i was able to provide some to my bad buddy that was going to blc to the people i like <laughs> i give them some and then i kept one for myself so other people i know they go buy it because they didn't you know you know compass compass is not just laying around like you know you either go buy it and if you want the good one it's like 25 something dollars but if you want like a cheap plastic one it's like 10 bucks but the one that i have was actually the good one so um the next pro to me is ssa pickup is like christmas <laughs> i know when i say that it sounds weird but when we go to pick up from the warehouse which is the 92 office we'll go pick up from the warehouse it's like you know it's like i don't know you order stuff and you just get it like yay this come you know i don't know maybe yankees out there will understand what i'm trying to say but it's like let's say i ordered paper or i ordered something nice for the office or whatever the case may be like i ordered those little desks that um that stand up desk so you press your button and it goes up you push your button and goes down and when it came i was like so happy like i was like yeah. you know i don't know stuff like that it's like when you order something from amazon and it arrives you're like hype about it because you know it's there so that's what it is the only difference is i'm not using my money <laughs> and it's not coming home with me and staying in the office or whatever the case may be um the next pro for me is you kind of get away with a lot of things what i mean about that is everyone does not know what your job entails everyone does not know what you do because of that you can be missing half a day and be like i was I thought, sir, I was, that's a bad thing. You shouldn't be doing that unless you're going to push you to that level. But you can't be out the office because you run a mission. So usually Yankees are not, it's not that many people in your office. Like it's a small group. Like me, when I was in my previous company, I was working by myself for a very long time. So if I'm missing, nobody's in the office. Like nobody could get supply. Nobody can, you know, access the room. Because in that case, if I'm gone and I get a text to be like, oh, where are you? I could be like, oh, I'm a CIF, or I'm a um, battalion, or I'm a, I could just say where I'm at because they don't know what I'm doing there. And oftentimes, we do have to go to these places to get stuff done. So you kind of get away with things. And, uh, <laughs> and also, you can, like, make up your hours as long as it's, like, you know, in the SOP or whatever the case may be. So when you make your hours, my hours are open the office at 9.30. It doesn't mean I'm not there at night. I'm not there till 9.30, but I don't open until 9.30. So my argument is I'm not open for customer until 9.30. But sometimes I'm not there until 9.30. <laughs> All right, let me not get myself, get myself in trouble. So now I'm going to jump over to the cons. I don't have that many because one, my soldier cons was about the military everybody could come across those i'm gonna talk about the cons that as a 92 yankee as a 92 yankee the number one cons i'm pretty sure everyone here from yankees is change of command inventory y'all yeah, if you don't know what change of command inventory is and you're a yankee i'm gonna pray for you because it's hell Especially if you're in a unit that's not organized, they don't care about their properties, they don't know their properties, they expect you to know everything. If you're in a unit like that, it's going to be a little difficult. 
But if you're in a unit that's like squared away, they know their stuff, it's gonna be a little bit easier for you. But it's still a lot of paperwork either way. So you're gonna be working early in the morning to the dawn crack at night and it doesn't matter. And nobody care and you're not gonna get nothing after that. You're not even gonna get a thank you, honestly. Let me be honest with you. Um, the next con is uh, oh, overwork. So sometimes Yankees overworks only because people just think we know everything about the property book. Like, every single thing and i literally the company that i'm in right now i'm about to leave in a few months but the company that i'm in right now i feel like i've worked so hard in that company because one i did not know their equipment that was my first time in an aviation maintenance company um and people just come in my office all the time just ask me a question about stuff that i don't know anything about and i'm just sitting there like i don't know you should be telling me because this stuff you use like so when that happened half 99% of the time you have to do your homework so you have to figure out what they're talking about you have to figure out what it is only because you want to prevent the commander paying this buttload of money when he's out of command or you want to keep it from a flip or you want to keep it you want to make your job easier so because of that you go out of your way to do homework and find out what an equipment entails just so you could tell that person what it is so you could be good you basically doing homework so that you don't have more work to do later, if that makes sense. Yeah, I guess that makes sense in my head, so it should make sense. But that's that, and it shouldn't be me doing that homework, it should be you, but because I'm preventing me doing the flip or statement charges later on, I just do the homework. The last thing I have for cons is, whoo, so this is not a big con, but I know some people who dealt with it, I sure hope it, it ain't ever gonna be me as my 92 Yankee, but you but you end up paying the army. That's what I was talking about with this statement of charges earlier. So the stuff you ordering, right? You giving to the people, blah 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 blah. It's called shortage BII, shortages, whatever they call. Um, it's stuff they need. Okay, so let's say people don't keep up with it or whatever they do, they mess up with it, and you don't have a tracker of how you run in the supply office and then there's an investigation and they're like yo you the one that wasn't doing it properly so you're gonna pay the army this x amount of money and i know i know a yankee that had that almost paid an army like a thousand dollars for stuff that he did not anything he didn't have anything to do with it he ordered it give it to the people that need it and then they, of course they use it lose it take it home whatever they did with it and then come to find out later on inventory they couldn't find these things so they're trying to pin it on him but thank god you know he figured it out i don't know what the outcome was but i know he didn't pay a thousand dollars whatever the amount was but it's just as simple as that they be like oh the supply the supply nco not doing their job so they should have been running this they should have been doing that they should have been doing this they should have been doing that so they're gonna charge them for this x amount of money that they find discrepancy because of what they do so basically you have so much to do that you don't even you it shouldn't be your responsibility but sometimes it come out to be your responsibility and i want to add one more con one more cons that's for a yankee that's an nco <laughs> let me see how can i put that a nco yankee to me i feel like the supply room to me to me to me to me i'm gonna clarify it to me I feel like the supply room is enough job for me as an NCO, right? So not only I have that job, then I have my soldiers. Um, I love my soldiers. They're my, like my family, but I'm be honest with you, I don't like having soldiers. And that's that on that. So that video just went left real quick. So let me stop talking right now. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and again please like subscribe and comment below if you want to see more videos about the military um if you want to see more videos about yankee life um let me know i've been a yankee for three years not that long so there's not that much experience to tell you but i've been through a lot you know i've been through two companies and um i've seen the difference so and again, my husband is a Yankee too, so he'll get, you could hear his side of the story. I don't know. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I'll see you guys next time on my next video.